Praise the Lord and good Monday morning, everyone. It is time for our morning prayer and devotion. I thank you for joining with me again this morning. We have received good reports over the weekend regarding Anthony Sifford's condition. As most of you know, he suffered a massive stroke um, a few weeks back, and he has um, basically been under sedation in a medically induced uh, comatose state, and they've been bringing him out of sedation. Uh, he has been more alert. He has started opening his eyes when family members talk to him. His eyes looked more clear yesterday and more like himself. He's starting to move around more. And so we thank God for those um, victories uh, that we're seeing day by day. He's supposed to have a G2 placement today for feeding. We need to pray that this goes smoothly and continue to pray for fever and shivering to stop as this has been off and on uh, throughout. Christian reports that Mr. Lauren has been a miracle up and getting around. His family is thankful for all the prayers for him. In our prayer request today, uh, my mom has flu A. My dad has been sick as well. Lots of flu going around, along, uh, around right now. And, um, and just lots of people battling uh, with viruses of different sorts. There's a lot of post-influenza uh, post pneumonia uh, right now uh, in our area. Caroline Sexton has been battling pneumonia. Carmen Brother George has been dealing with a uh, lung condition chronically and uh, needs prayer for continued clearing and healing of his lungs and for restored functions. Uh, Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northrup uh, suffer from chronic lung conditions. Uh, Kristen's friend Mike had a pulmonary embolism with multiple blood clots and a small stroke. We're praying that there will be no more blood clots and for his quick and full recovery. We've been praying for Clint, who has been having internal bleeding. At last word, he was scheduled for surgery on Saturday. Let's continue to lift him up and pray for Pat as well, who has been there with him. We're praying for many children on our list, Brantley and Elsie with heart issues, Arlo recovering from a terrible accident and has had multiple surgeries and a long recovery time from that. Madison uh, had recent brain surgery to remove tumors and assist. Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker have childhood cancer. Bailey May has been having hearing issues. Abram Page was born with GNA01 disorder. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome. Tyler Lopez needs healing of spina bifida. Sophia is undergoing treatment for scoliosis. Baby G has many health issues. Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby Young suffer with developmental problems. Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Becca and her mom, Christina, J.R. Johnson, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl and Chance for the Pulliam, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, and myself. That's quite a long list, and I'm sure there are others who should be on this list, uh, but these are all people who are dealing with uh, diabetes, so let's continue to pray for each of these as well as those who are struggling with Parkinson's diagnosis. These include Kristen's friend, Matt, uh, my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, Joey Etheridge, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Tim Workman, Ron Bryant, and Russ. Tammy Lawson has been undergoing treatment for chronic acute bronchitis and is uh, needing to be better before the end of this week. She has a pre-op appointment for her back surgery, which is scheduled for December 21st, and she will not be able to keep that appointment if she uh, doesn't get cleared up from this other uh, issue. Others with back pain, Bob O, Terry Nelson, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Pam's daughter, Jenny, Rihanna Williams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Melania Cummins, Carolyn Rogers, and Becky Wilson. Let's remember to pray for Rose Brown and June Coffer, who both deal with arthritis pain. Renee has mobility issues caused by problems with her hips and knees. I think Renee has been on our prayer list pretty much since we uh, began uh, these prayer gatherings in 2020. So let's pray for a miracle for Renee today. Also for um, Ben Ramey's stepmother, Chris Ramey. Uh, she needs healing of her knees uh, so that she can walk again. 
We have many who are battling cancer. These include Carmen's cousin, Amanda. She's been experiencing a lot of pain in her spine recently. Alicia Piero, Michelle Strain's sister, Cindy, Tony Nelson, Teresa's mother, Marcia's friend's grandparents and Marcia's co-worker's brother, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico who has stage four metastatic breast cancer, Michael Boland, Sawyer, Cheryl, uh, she had recent tumor removal and now is back in the hospital after becoming dehydrated over the weekend. We need to pray for wisdom in family decision-making. Diane Escher, uh, Darla Crane, who had a recent brain tumor removal as well, Linda Fox, Venus's niece Heather, Joni Jones, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Scott Lucia, Kristen's friend Betty, Ari Bowers, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, and Alice Elizabeth. Those with heart issues, Carmen's friend Sean, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Cheryl LaChance, Jimmy Warren, Lynn Laycock, Amy D, Michelle Strain's mother, Brother Dole Mitchell, Brother Mark Morris, J.D. Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prinzel, and Brother Gail Beecher. We need to pray for Aubrey Matthews, who's been dealing with pregnancy complications, Mara Sullivan, who has lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. Chad Jones is scheduled to go back to the doctor today and also on the 8th. We're praying for good reports for him. We're lifting up Carmen's neighbor, Eddie, who's been battling infection and specifically recurrent UTIs. Olivia, Natalie, Aubrey, Heather, and Michael all need healing of stomach issues. Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, Carmen's sister, Tracy, and Riley March are needing healing of MS. Ginger Williams has diverticulitis and a hernia. Cheryl Chance has a family member who has ongoing problems caused by a head injury in the past. And this is also the case for Sue Hilton Morris's brother. Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny Nelson's mom, all suffer with dementia. Johnny, Beth, Marsha, and Melena all need healing of migraines. Marsha also has a coworker whose son suffers from migraines. We're praying for continued recovery this morning for my aunt, Virginia Pride. She needs strength for her final round of chemotherapy, that it would go well. We're praying for those who have had stroke. Uh, in addition to Anthony Sifford, we've been praying for quite some time for evangelist Billy Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, Johnny's nephew Joey, Sheila Sappington, also, my aunt, Melba Bryant, had a knee surgery recently. Jeff Anglin was in a terrible car accident. Kristen's cousin, Grady, uh, has injuries from a bike accident and diabetic challenges that he's struggling to recover from. Darla Crane, as we mentioned, is recovering from recent cancer surgery. Seth had a recent surgery, and we're praying for the healing to go well for him and for him to regain the feeling in all of his fingers. In our other health needs today, Judy Williams' brother, Wilda Morrison, Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, Johnny and Terry Nelson, Shirley Perkins, Mike and Tony Hodge, Gary Nelson, and Chloe Isaac. Uh, Sharon Downing has been on hospice care. Let's keep praying for her. Also for Lee's family as he was on hospice and passed away last Wednesday. His wife, Rose, and his sister, Deb, especially need our prayers for God's peace and comfort for them. Carmen's family friend, Johnny, is needing a good job and needing it quickly. We're praying for God's open doors for him. In our spiritual and family needs today, we need to lift up Anissa, J.R. Johnson, Johnny Nelson's family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Pam Poima's family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families, the Sappington family, Marcia and Britt's family, especially their son, Josh. Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, Rebecca Williams' mother, Dana, Annette and Dave, Johnny's brother, uh, a young lady that Johnny's been invited to church, Regina Marlin's family members, Aubrey, Lorraine, Tyler, and Charles. Uh, Charles needs deliverance from addiction. Ashley Johnson, we're praying for deliverance for her as well. Also for Dawson, who struggles with both drug addiction and some mental health issues. William Davies is battling with alcoholism and has uh, health issues related to that. I have an unspoken request for 
uh, someone in our family who struggles with alcoholism, and we're praying for deliverance there. Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband. She needs spiritual strength. Uh, Baby G needs um, uh, God to move in these adoption proceedings that have been going on for so long. So let's pray for her and for the family that has been trying to fully adopt her. Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden. Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Amber. Jean, all these needing to find their way to the Lord. Mingo RCF residents and Job Corps students. Let's keep praying for those ministries. For our Celebrate Recovery Ministries, let's lift up Grace uh, and her uh, best friend today. Her best friend's family needs wholeness and peace in relationships. Judy and Mike's grandson, Andrew, has been deployed to Romania. Let's pray for him and for his, um, his other uh, fellow soldiers there. We need to lift up uh, Judy's family again today, praying for her daughter Jennifer and her family. Thursday is an important date for them. Let's keep praying for our global and North American missionaries, all in need of our prayers uh, again today, especially those ministering in Ukraine and other areas affected uh, by war. So many things that we are called upon to pray about every day, and I certainly take this seriously, and I know that you do as well, or else you wouldn't be here with me at this uh, early hour. Uh, we have a praise report already this morning. We can take Johnny's need off the list. He's got a job, started working on Friday. So that was an answer to prayer for something we were needing a quick answer to. So thank you for that report, Carmen. It's good to have you with us this morning for live prayer. She's also asking us to pray for Dalton, who is in a bad wreck and has a broken neck. He has a long road to recovery after uh, surgery. And also ask us to pray for reconciled relationships um, with his dad. Uh, we're praying this morning for all of these needs, and we're also praising God for his faithfulness in these situations. Uh, Terry, good to see you this morning. Uh, good to see you, Kristen. God bless you. Um, Sister Pam, uh, did I mention Johnny? Yes, Johnny. Uh, all right, so let's remember... Um, Judy's need this morning. I'm getting kind of lost here in all the comments that are popping up. So my apologies to you. But Judy said they got the date wrong. It's Wednesday that we're needing a very special prayer for uh, their family. Wednesday instead of Thursday. So let's keep covering that need uh, throughout the week up, up through Wednesday. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, Sister Pam, I think I just mentioned you. Uh, Sherman, God bless you this morning. Good to see all of our prayer friends today out in force with us this morning. Johnny's reporting um, that Clint is out of the ICU. Uh, Pat said the surgery went well. Uh, she's still with him until he's released. And now they're saying he's, yeah, until he's released. All right. God bless you this morning. Let's go to the word of the Lord. And I know others will be signing on here. So if I haven't mentioned you, it's because I just haven't seen you yet but I know that you're on your way or the system just hasn't updated quite yet. Let's read one verse of scripture from the New King James Version, Revelation chapter 3, verse 22. When you mention the book of Revelation, a lot of times people think you're going to get real, real deep and into uh, the prophetic, but this is actually a very simple statement that we can all understand very easily. Verse number uh, 22 of Revelation 3 simply says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. God did amazing work whenever he designed the human ear. Uh, one remarkable fact about your ears is that they never stop hearing. Did you realize that? That even when you sleep, uh, your ears uh, are never off. Your ears are always turned on. That's the way that God designed them, that even whenever you are asleep, even though you're not actively hearing, your ears are still taking in sound. That's why uh, you can be startled awake very easily, and that may even save your life if there was an intruder in your house and you hear something go thump in the night. Your ears, even though you're sleeping, your ears will alert you and uh, cause you to be able to respond. 
So your ears are never turned off. They always hear sound regardless of your state. Whether you're conscious or unconscious, your ears never get a day off. And what is true in the physical realm is also true in the spiritual. The question is simply, what are our ears hearing and are they actively hearing or passively just taking in sound? We must have our spiritual ears uh, turned on and alert at all times so that we can hear what the Spirit is saying to us. The phrase, let him hear what the Spirit says, is mentioned seven times throughout Revelation uh, chapter 1 through 3. When God addressed issues within the seven churches of Asia, he used this statement all uh, many times. He also taught us that listening to the Spirit is an important component of prayer. We must always be listening to what the Spirit is saying. Prayer is not just talking to God, but prayer is also an opportunity for God to talk to us. And so we take time each weekday morning to voice our needs to the Lord, but also to take a moment. And I do this every day when the prayer time ends and that camera is turned off. I pause for a moment and I say, Lord, what do you want to speak into my heart today? I want my ears to be tuned in to the voice of the Spirit because the truth is my ears are going to hear something today. But what am I going to hear? Am I going to hear what the Spirit is saying to me? What the Spirit is saying to the church? Amen. So today let's concentrate on that once again. And let's make sure that we understand that our ears are taking in sound today. And let's, let's make sure that we're listening, that we're not just passively taking in the stimuli around us, but that we are actively listening and hearing the voice of God for us today. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, that you designed us spiritually as a mirror image of, of the way that you designed us physically. And there's no gap there in, in the wonder of how you created us. And Lord, I know today that even those who are sleeping, those who are uh, spiritually not alert right now, those who have drifted from you and and have not been tuned into your voice yet, they have the ability to hear, and you're calling for them and speaking to them. And I'm praying today, God, that you would just begin to uh, alert them and somehow awaken them from their slumber. We pray, God, for miracles uh, spiritually today in people's lives. Let there be a great awakening in our society. Let there be a great revival, Lord, in these last days. Let People begin to hear what the Spirit is speaking to them. And Lord, we thank you that we can hear your voice, that you loved us enough, God, to give us that warning feature in our system, both physically and spiritually. We pray today, God, that you would help us, Lord, to sound the alarm, that others would hear the alert today. Hallelujah. The call to prayer. We believe for miracles and signs and wonders to be performed among your people today. For you are the mighty God. There is nothing that is too hard for you. There's nothing beyond your ability and your scope of influence today. You are working in every situation. And we give you the praise for it this morning. We give you the glory and the honor. We thank you for the praise reports. We thank you for the good report for Mr. Lauren. And that Clint is out of surgery. And... Uh, going to be released very soon from the hospital. We thank you for the good reports coming in daily regarding Anthony's condition. We believe, Lord, for a complete miracle for him of restoration. We believe for healing today for each one that's sick in body. You see my mom and dad today, God, battling with flu A. God, we believe for healing for them, for Caroline, for Carmen's brother George, for others with pneumonia and chronic respiratory conditions, those who are battling with post-influenza pneumonia right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing. We pray for Mike today. We believe God for complete recovery for him after this stroke that he suffered and after this pulmonary embolism. We pray that there would be no more blood clots, that there would be no more issues. We pray today, God, for Brantley and Elsie and for these other children, Arlo and Madison, Lorelei, Tucker, Jenna, Bailey, Abram, Abel, Tano, Sophia, Baby G, 
Abby Young and Gus's grandson today. God, we know that you're working in these children's lives and you are their healer today. You are their source, God of strength. And we believe for your divine healing for them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray, God, for those suffering with diabetes, those dealing with the effects of Parkinson's, those that are in severe back pain today. God, we pray for healing for them. We pray for Tammy Lawson, God, for uh, this appointment that she has coming up for her pre-op to back surgery this week. God, we pray that she would have strength for healing of this chronic acute bronchitis that she's been dealing with, and that she would be able to keep her appointments. We pray, God, for these others suffering with back pain and with arthritis. We pray for those with mobility issues. Lord, those who are battling cancer today. Lord, you see Amanda and Alicia. You see Cindy. We pray for Tony and for Teresa's mother, for Marcia's friends, grandparents, and for her co-worker's brother. We pray for Christy Smith and for the lady here in Puxico who has stage four breast cancer. We lift up Michael Bolin, Sawyer, and Cheryl. We pray, God, for Cheryl in the hospital right now. We pray that they would be able to get her rehydrated. We pray for wisdom for the family in the hard decisions that they have to make in her care. We pray for Diane and for Darla, for Linda and for Heather, for Joni, for Dennis Phelps, for Sherry, for Scott Lucia and for Betty again today. God, we lift up Ari and Dwayne and Claire and Alice Elizabeth. Those who are suffering from heart disease today, we believe for healing for them. We believe for healing of lupus. We pray for Sister Sullivan, God, for healing of autoimmune cerebritis and lupus. We lift up Aubrey. We're believing for an end to these pregnancy complications and for a successful delivery. We pray for Chad Jones today, God, as he's going back to the doctor this morning. And, Lord, also on the 8th, we pray for good reports. We lift up Carmen's neighbor, Eddie. We pray against infection, Lord, in his body. We pray for those with stomach issues today, those who are battling MS. And we pray for Ginger Williams, who's dealing with a hernia with diverticulitis. We pray, God, for those who have chronic problems from head injuries. Touch Cheryl's family member and Sue's brother today. We pray, Lord, for Vivian and for Kristen's friend, Dad, and for Johnny's mom, all these that are dealing with dementia, those who are suffering with migraines today. God, reach down and touch them. Hallelujah. Give them relief right now. We know all power is in your name. All healing comes in your name. And we invoke your name over every situation. God, we trust in you. We believe your word today that with your stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. We pray for continued recovery this morning for my Aunt Virginia, for Brother Billy Huey, for Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, for Tina's mother. We lift up Johnny's nephew, Joey. We pray for Sheila Sappington, and all of these who are dealing with the effects of stroke. We know, God, that you are bigger than any of these uh, complications or disabilities, and we believe, God, for you to turn those uh, into miracles. We believe for my Aunt Melba as she's recovering from knee surgery, for Jeff Anglin, that he would recover fully after this car accident. We pray for Grady again today, God, for his strength for recovery. For Darla, God, help her today to recover fully from this uh, cancer surgery. We lift up Seth today. We believe for his complete healing and complete recovery. We pray for Judy's brother. We lift up Wilma Morrison and Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, Johnny and Terry, Shirley, Mike and Tony, Gary and Chloe. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Sharon Downing, Lord, for her family as they're struggling with her situation on hospice care. We pray for peace and comfort for Lee's family. We pray, God, for the spiritual and family needs that have been presented to us. We thank you for the victory report for Johnny that he has started working. We give you the praise and glory, Lord. We lift up on this. Uh, we pray for Jr. and for Johnny's family for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin, for Pam's family. God, we pray for the backsliders to return home. We pray for the prodigals today, Lord, to come to their senses and to realize that they can return to their father's house. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Debbie's family, for the Sappington family, for Marcia and Britt and their children, 
We lift up Josh again today. We pray for his deliverance, God. We lift up Lisa. We pray for Rebecca's mother, Dana, for Annette and Dave, and for Johnny's brother. Lord, we know you are our deliverer. Hallelujah. We trust God for the chains of addiction to be broken through the power of your name. Hallelujah. We pray for the young lady that Johnny's been inviting to church, that the barriers that exist between her and the church family would be broken down. We pray, God, that our churches would be easy to return to. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Regina's family members, Aubrey and Loren, Tyler and Charles. We believe for Charles' deliverance. We believe for Ashley's deliverance today. We believe for Dawson, for healing of mental health issues and deliverance from drugs. We pray for William and for our family member who struggles with alcohol addiction. God, we pray for Pam and for others who are taking care and helping those who are struggling with addiction. We pray for our Celebrate Recovery Ministry. God, we lift up our Job Corps students, our Bingo RCF residents. God, we pray that you would move in their lives today. Hallelujah. We pray for Baby G's adoption proceedings, for Judy's grandson and for Beulah's granddaughter. God, move in their lives. Move in Jean's life today, God. Hallelujah. We pray for Grace's best friend's family. We believe for wholeness and peace in their relationships. We lift up Andrew again today. Protect him, Lord, in his deployment to Romania. The others who are stationed in the military around Ukraine and those who are fighting in Ukraine today. We pray protection for the citizens and for our, uh, for our missionaries who are there in that nation. We pray, God, for Judy's unspoken need for her family. We pray for Jennifer and her family today. And for this special date on Wednesday, we're covering them, God, believing for your help in their situation. Lord, bless our missionaries today, our global missionaries, our North American missionaries. God, give them great success and open doors for them that we can see great things continue to happen around the world. We give you the praise and the glory, Lord. Hallelujah for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, we trust in your faithfulness. And we give you praise and glory. We pray for Dalton, Lord, as he has a broken back from this bad uh, wreck that he was in. We pray, God, for his recovery. In Jesus' name, we pray for his relationship with his father to be uh, reconciled. In Jesus' name, Lord, you are able. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray, God, for uh, Johnny's son dealing with chest pains and allergies. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We trust in your word today and in every promise that you've given to us. You are so good and you are so worthy of our praise. Have your way in our lives today. God, direct us, lead us this day and throughout this week. We give you praise for it all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for praying with me again this morning. I'm looking forward to a great week of prayer and devotion. And uh, let's remember one another in our prayers. And I know so many of us have so many things going on and so much stress that's upon us during the uh, Christmas season. And uh, let's just hold each other up and we know that God will continue to help us. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you'll be able to be a part of morning prayer once again.